Shalom shalom bwana sasiwe. Karibu na kukaribisha sana. Amen. Tunashukuru Mungu kama nilivyokuambia huduma hii imetabiriwa na inaonekana kwa watumishi mbalimbali. Mungu anawatumia. Sawa? Wanaona huduma hii na wameshaitolea unabii. Amen. Wengine ka duniani huko, eh? Wengine hapa hapa Tanzania. Amen. Ndio anasema mwenye masikio nasikie. Amen. Mungu anatumia watumishi wengine kuonyesha huduma hii sawa lakini unaweza usielewe yani au usijue kwamba nini kinazungumzwa amen ya tunamshukuru Mungu na tupo hapa kwa ajili ya Mungu kwa hiyo hatupo kwa ajili ya mambo yetu sawa sasa basi nilikwambia kwamba mimi ndo Tanzania na mimi ndo bendera ya nchi sawa kwa nimepewa mbinguni bendera ya nchi na pale tunapambana na mapepo na mapepo kugombea nini bendera tunagombea mpira mpira ambao ni mpira ambao ni ni, ni bendera ya nchi ambao bendera ya nchi ndo 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 ndo, ndo nchi ndo, ndo mimi sasa umeona ndo Tanzania yenyewe sawa tunagombania amen na nimekwambia kuna watu wanaenda kufa maarufu wa kubwa kubwa kwa sababu wanataka kupambana kupambana na hii nafasi kwa sababu Mungu wao amekufa kwa hiyo wanapambana kwenye hii nafasi ili yaani warudishe nafasi hiyo mikononi mwao. Amen. Kwa watakufa na mimi nimegonga miuli vifo vyao yani kuzibitisha kwamba acha wafe. Sababu wamekuwa ni wajeuri. Amen. Kwa vifo utaviona. Eh, mwaka unaisha utaona vifo huko mbele. Amen. Utaviona sawa. Kwa hiyo huu nabii amba umetumwa inakuwekea usikize huu nabii sawa usikize kinachozungumzwa kwenye huu nabii kuhusu huduma hii alafu baada ya kusikiliza kama dakika kumi hivi au dakika tano nitakuachia kama dakika kumi au dakika tano alafu ukishasikiliza huu nabii wa 2023 sawa kisha mimi nitarudi tena amen kuja kuzungumza sawa amen nikwambia shida zote mateso yote haiwezi kuikuta nchi kwa sababu nchi imeshakombolewa sawa kwa hiyo kinachotokea maana yake mimi ndi, ni mimi ni kama kama nchi ndio ninayepambana na hivyo vitu nadhani ushaendesha kueleza amen kwamba na wanapambana sio kidogo na nimekueleza mimi ndio ninafanya nini ninayeumia twende tusikilize wao nabii alafu kisha nitarudi amen if this flag will pass kama hii bendera itapita because i saw passing the fire and i saw their fire burning fire stones nikaona mawe yenye moto fire stones burning mawe mawe yenye moto fire stones burning mawe mawe yenye moto my flag was there bendera yangu ilikuwa hapo my flag was there bendera yangu ilikuwa hapo so why i'm delivering this message kwa nini nautoa ujumbe huu So the issue is not a flag to be in the fire. Swala sio bendera kuwa katikati ya moto, but the flag to be burned. Lakini ile bendera kuteketea. You have never had the number of the leader in the nation die. Haujawahi kusikia idadi ya viongozi katika taifa wa kifa. You have never had it. Hujawahi kusikia. You have never had it. Hujawahi kusikia. But lakini If we cannot pray. Kama hatutaomba. This prophet, huu nabii, we remind you. Utakukumbusha. I am not doubting what God showed me. Sina mashaka na alichonionyesha Mungu. Flag coming from west. Bendera ikitokea magharibi. Passing the fire stain there in the fire. Ikipita katikati ya moto na ikatulia pale kwenye moto. We must pray. Lazima tuombe. Otherwise, vinginevyo, you see leader after leader passing away. Utaona kiongozi baada ya kiongozi wakifa, passing away. Wakifa, passing away. Wakifa. But take this. Chukua hili. Take this. Chukua hili. Some of the leader cannot even explain that they will die. Baadhi ya viongozi huwezi hata kutarajia kwamba watakufa. But, lakini God I was praying this week nilikuwa naomba wiki hii 
And the Lord spoke to me. What do you see? Unaona nini? I said I'm seeing something. Nikamwambia ninaona kitu fulani. I was seeing a big big stone. Mawe mawe makubwa. But it was stone's fire. He said, "Okay." Akaniambia sawa. You are right. Uko sahi. So I saw the flag of my nation. Nikaliona bendera ya taifa langu. Was coming from the west. Ilikuwa inatokea magharibi. Where the west in the nation? So that's mean west. Yes. Okay, fine. Good. Good. I saw the flag of my nation. Niliona bendera ya taifa langu. Was coming from west. Ikitokea magharibi. And was coming too sharp na ilikuwa inakuja haraka sana and going close to the stone of fire na ikawa inaelekea na karibu na yale mawe mawe i saw the flag of machine passing in the fire nikaona ile bendera inapita katikati ya in the fire yale it was indeed burning fire ilikuwa ni moto unaoteketeza burning fire moto unaoteketeza we must pray lazima tuombe because i'm seeing kwa sababu ninaona next year mwaka ujao there will be kutakuwa some very very strong confusion na machafuko sana from the people of west kutokea watu wa magharibi from west kutokea magharibi they will bring a very strong confusion in the nation machafuko makubwa sana kwenye ile taifa because i saw the flag of the nation kwa sababu niliona bendera ya taifa so this is the people kwa hiyo hawa ni watu they will be coming from west watakuwa wanatokea upande wa magharibi tanzanian ni katika taifa la Tanzania ni wa Tanzania they were coming walikuwa wanakuja coming wanakuja to the center katikati so i saw the fire kwa nikaona moto so the lord spoke to me bwana akaniambia he said akasema devil is planning something shetani anapanga jambo fulani his plan is planting something anapanda jambo fulani from the people of from those they are staying in west kutoka kwa watu ambao wanaishi magharibi West Magharibi So I saw the flag coming Kwa nikaiona bendera inakuja passing in the fire Ikipita katikati ya moto and staying there in the fire Na ikakaa kwenye moto 2023 2023 We must pray Lazima tuombe This flag hii bendera should not be burned Isiteketee Because if this If this flag kwa sababu kama hii bendera it will be burned itateketea I mean if we change a color ikibadilisha rangi yake because of fire kutokana na ule moto there will be no politician in this nation kutakuwa hakuna mwanasiasa katika ili taifa who can remain safe anayeweza kuwa salama So we we must pray. Kwa hiyo lazima tuombe. I saw. Nimeona. I saw it. Nimeona hilo. I saw it. Nimeiona hilo. Nimeona. My flag. Bendera yangu was coming. Ilikuwa inakuja. Passing. Ikipitia. In the fire. Kwenye moto fire stones mawe yenye moto if we can pray kama tutaomba if we can pray kama tutaomba this flag hii bendera it will pass through fire cannot be burned itapita katikati ya moto na haitateketea our prayer maombi yetu can help yanaweza kutusaidia if we cannot pray kama hatutaomba This is the only year who ndio mwaka pekee will cause many politician to die. Tasababisha I mean, to, to leader viongozi wengi wana siasa leader viongozi leader viongozi leader viongozi in this nation kwenye taifa hili leader viongozi so there be some rumors kutakuwa na maneno maneno that can create a guilt yanaweza kutengeneza hatia 
and can separate the unity of the leader in the nation. Na yakaondoa ule umoja wa viongozi kwenye taifa. It will be bad. It will be another more death. Kutakuwa na kifo kingine zaidi. But lakini Always wakati wote foolish wapumbavu people accept it in the pray hukubali na kuomba wise wenye hekima they reject it upinga they say let us see husema acha tuone always god will make wise people to see what god is spoke wakati wote wenye hekima mungu atasababisha waone alichosema yeye mungu but foolish lakini wapumbavu god is helping them mungu anawasaidia to remove this kuliondoa hili if this flag will pass kama hii bendera itapita because i saw passing the fire sababu niliona ikiwa inapita and i saw the fire burning fire stones nikaona mawe yenye moto if this flag will pass kama hii bendera itapita because i saw passing the fire sababu niliona ikiwa inapita and i saw the fire burning fire stones nikaona mawe yenye moto fire stones burning mawe mawe yenye moto ya fire stones burning mawe mawe yenye moto ya my flag was there bendera yangu ilikuwa hapo my flag was there bendera yangu ilikuwa hapo so why i'm delivering this message kwa nini nautoa ujumbe huu so the issue is not a flag to be in the fire swala sio bendera kuwa katikati ya moto but the flag to be burned lakini ile bendera kuteketea You have never had the number of the leader in the nation die. Haujawahi kusikia idadi ya viongozi katika taifa wa kifa. You have never had it. Hujawahi kusikia. You have never had it. Hujawahi kusikia. But lakini if we cannot pray. Kama hatutaomba. This prophet huu nabii will remind you. Utakukumbusha. I am not doubting what God showed me. Sina mashaka na alichonionyesha Mungu. Flag coming from west. Bendera ikitokea magharibi. Passing the fire staying there in the fire. Ikipita katikati ya moto na ikatulia pale kwenye moto. We must pray. Lazima tuombe. Otherwise, vinginevyo, you see leader after leader passing away. Utaona kiongozi baada ya kiongozi wakifa, passing away. Wakifa, passing away. Wakifa. But take this. Chukua hili. Take this. Chukua hili. Some of the leaders cannot even explain that they will die. Baadhi ya viongozi huwezi hata kutarajia kwamba watakufa. But lakini God is a faithful God. Mungu ni Mungu mwaminifu. Is opening this. Analifunua hili. Not for show. Sio kwa ajili ya maonyesho. Not for show. Ni me and you. Mimi na wewe. We can stand and pray. Tunaweza kusimama na kuomba because we are foolish. Kwa sababu tu wapumbavu. God will answer our prayer. Mungu atayajibu maombi yetu. If we are wise, tukiwa wenye hekima, we cannot pray. Hatuwezi kuomba. We challenge God. Tutampa changamoto Mungu. Let us see. Ngoja tuone. You will see. Utaona. You will see. Utaona. You will see. Utaona. Shalom bwana sasa sifiwe. Nafikiri umesikiza au unabii. Amen. Amen. Mimi nilisikiza mara ya kwanza ulikuwa una mwezi mmoja. Au ulikuwa una, una kama wiki nilisikia. Lakini nimesikiza tena kwa mara ya pili tena nikasema acha nikuletee tena wewe. Amen. Mbona anazungumza anasema bendera inatoka mashariki? Mbona? Kama nilivyokuambia bendera ni nchi. Na nchi ni mtu. Unapoona bendera maana ni mtu. Sawa? Ah, uh, Tanzania. Sawa. Umeona ipo katikati ya moto. Sawa? Amen. Na niweza hapa nilipo nimejificha. Kwa ajili ya vita ambao mpaka umeona Mungu wa Tanzania amekufa. Kwa Mungu ananitengeneza kwa ajili ya dunia nzima kama nilivyokuambia. Amen. Kwa hiyo dunia itamjua Mungu wako hapa Tanzania. Yaani he, yaani sijuani kwambieje. 
kuna mambo yataenda kutokea makubwa na magumu sio yajua amen maana yake niko katika vita nimefichwa na Mungu kama alivyofichwa Elia msituni sawa kupambana na miungu ya dunia nzima ya dunia nzima sawa ndo niko hapo amen hiyo miungu ambayo inataka ilete shida duniani ndo Mungu anafanya kazi ya kutengeneza amen kwa hiyo hii ni sina kuibia watu wengine ambao kutaka kujulia na mwako kuibia maana yake umekuwa ni wabishi na wagumu wa kutaka kuelewa amen kwa hiyo Mungu anataka kwa ajili ya kupiga dunia nzima kwa tumeanza na Mungu wa kwetu hapa Tanzania amekufa sasa tunaenda 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 kwa mwingine baada mmoja mmoja baada mmoja kama nilivyokuambia ile vita ya Urusi na Ukraine kuna maono ya mwisho nilitoa kwamba Leris anakimbia Urusi anakimbia Ukraine sawa Mungu akaniambia Gabriel akasema ombea muona nikakataa sawa umeona kwa hiyo lakini kilichotokea pale maana yake Leris alipokimbia ndio nikaanza kuona bendera zinatoka zina zina alapishana nazo maana yake mataifa NATO wanaenda kupigana umeona kumsaidia na utaenda kwa sababu kama huyu atakataa kufanyaje kuelewa kukubaliana sawa mazungumzo tuseme amen kwa bwana tunatambua kwamba ni mshindi na nini hivyo sawa kwa hiyo bendera ni, ni nchi ni mtu nchi ni mtu sawa kama unavyoona kuzimu ni mtu lakini baadaye anatoka anatembea kama mimi na wewe Mungu Anasema kiti changu kiko mbinguni miguu yangu duniani Mungu amenena kila mahali lakini hapo hapo Mungu anakuja kama mtu wa kawaida. Hapo Mungu anakuja kama Yesu. Umeona? Lakini amenena dunia nzima. Maana yote tunalofanya Mungu anajua, anasikia. Amen. Kwa hiyo umeona kichozungumzo hapa. Vifo vinakuja na vinakuja kweli hakuna mchezo. Hii miaka miwili. Mimi kwa mbele bara ninalokuja kwa wale ambao wanamwabudu shetani watakiona cha mtemakuni lazima wafe amen hayo siri nyingine mambo ya vita sio vita vinatoka anasema wa Tanzania watoka mashariki wanatoka magharibi kuleta vita yani wa Tanzania wenyewe watoka magharibi kuleta vita hapo utakuwa hujaelewa unaelewa maana yake nini mimi najua maana yake ila sitakwambia Amen. Sita kuambia maana yake nini? Sawa, yani hao wa Tanzania ni akina nani? Amen. Ila sikwambii tunaliacha kama lilivyo. Ila mwenye masikio na asikie. Amen. Kuambia hapa nilipo nimefichwa na sitoki kwenda mahali popote. Kwa hiyo ikiwa kuna ujumbe wa ikiwa kuna mtu yote ana ana, ana Yaani ikiwa na ujumbe wote wa Mungu kumsu mtu yote ambaye inahitajika upate lakini inahitaji kufika kwenye mtandao. Yaani sitakiwa kusema. Basi inabidi anifuate. Nishaongea. Nishaongea jamani. Kuna mambo ya kufanya. Naona kuna naona kuna comment humo watu wanatupa kanisani wewe upajui wewe upajui kanisani sio na nini wanafikiri Mungu anaweza kumpangia eh wewe mpangie tu Mungu anavotaka wewe Mungu anasema fanya anavotaka yeye sio anavotaka wewe kwa kuna mitego kila mahali amen kwa hata mimi singesikia sauti ya Mungu singeti sauti ya Mungu basi matatizo yangetokea makubwa tu umeona lakini sababu tunatii sauti ya Mungu maana tunashinda tunashinda tunashinda, tunashinda tuwa kwa hatua amen ndio bwana nikwambia hii ni hatua tano baada kuna hatua hizi mbili ya sita na ya saba sijui ya sita na ya saba itakuwaje na bara gani linakwenda kutokea kwa sababu hivi taa tano tu tumempiga Mungu wa Tanzania Mungu wa nchi nzima ya Tanzania tumemiliki sisi je ya sita na ya saba ni nini kinatokea maana yake tunakutana na vita kubwa zaidi ya hii tulikumbana nayo amen na mimi sichuguliki kuambia watu waombe sababu watu wengi wanadharau kwa tunapambana wenyewe naomba mwenyewe tunapambana tunapambana 
Siku Mungu akantumia nani? Akantumia Enoch. Akantia nguvu, akantia kupambana. Kwa sababu watu wanadharau. Umeona? Ipo ambao mbea kile ncho watu milioni 50,000 nikaa kwenye mtandao. Eh? Watu wakapata taarifa, watu kama 1000 au 2000 au 2000. Lakini Mungu anakuja kuonesha watu ambao wameombea ni watu wanne. Wawili na wafahamu, mmoja si mfahamu. Amen. Amen. Yaani Mungu anipa majibu, ulivoweka hapo walioombea ni watu wa watatu na wewe ukiwa wanne ambao walikuwa serious. Mungu analeta majibu kwamba friend na friend wameombea pamoja na wewe. Amen. Lakini Mungu ananiambia niombe, niambe mimi niombe. Na mimi nimeshirikisha watumishi wengine. Nimeweka kwenye mtandao. Umeona? Kuna vitu vingi sana ambavyo Mungu ametukataza tusifanye. Hapa YouTube. Kwa sababu ya hizo vita kimaliza tutakuja kukwambia kwa nini tuliambiwa tusiwe kwenye mtandao. Sawa. Na tutakushuhudia nini na nini kilikuwa kinaendelea. Amen. Mungu akubariki sana.